welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about teaching your bird to stay. It can be helpful for birds that always try and fly and land on your shoulder, they always want to be on you, or you just want to have them safe in an area on a play stand or on top of their cage, somewhere where they can stay, entertain, occupy themselves. I am teaching my bird this because I do have other animals in the house and I feel that my bird will be safest if she learns to stay in a controlled area. So I'm talking about like a perch or a PlayStation, an area that is outside of the cage but that has everything my bird will need, like water that is in a safe area and that is fun and entertaining and exciting to my bird. There are also household dangers that I don't want my bird in the kitchen and other parts of the house that may be dangerous or where my bird can get into mischief. But I don't want you to expect your bird to stay here all day, all the time. Birds, of course, they fly and it is good for them to fly, to exercise and to experience flying. That is really beneficial and it's something that I want to give my bird. But it needs to be at the right time, in the right place, and I need to be in control of the situation. I also don't want my bird to think that they can just sit on my shoulder whenever they want. I want to invite them to sit on my shoulder and to be able to take them off when I don't want them on my shoulder anymore. The first thing is that the area that I want my bird to stay needs to be entertaining. It needs to be exciting. The best way to do this is to put foraging toys in that area, on that play stand or on that perch. Make sure that they have something to do while they are there. Or why would they stay there? You can choose a variety of toys that they don't have in their cage, things that are exciting and different. You can also try bathing your bird first. After a bath, they like to preen and clean their feathers and they're more likely to stay in one spot when they're doing that. But definitely be realistic. Your bird will not stay here all day, all the time. When your bird gets bored, your bird will move. That's why it's important to get to know what your bird does when it's bored. What are the signs or the cues that your bird gives when they start to get bored? So that you know that they need to either be put back in their cage if you're not ready to have them sit on your shoulder or not ready to entertain them. So that you can take action and control the situation before your bird does. So get to know your bird and what does your bird do when your bird's bored? Observe your bird, get to know your bird and how they behave. Some birds may start to get chatty, talk a lot more. Some birds may start to pace back and forth. Every bird is different. It is also helpful to let your bird get their energy out before you put them in this spot that you want them to stay. Let them do a few laps around the room. Let them fly, get their energy out, and then expect them to stay. Don't take them right out of their cage and expect them to stay in another spot. It kind of seems like what's the point of taking them out of the cage then if they have to stay in like an invisible cage. So let them get their energy out, then give them a foraging toy in the area on the perch, the play stand that you want them to stay. Also know that over time you can lengthen how long they are going to stay in that spot. They will begin to understand that this is their spot and when they're out of the cage in this room, this is where they are allowed to stay. But at first, maybe they can only stay there for a few minutes. Over time, you can lengthen that amount of time. So gradually expect them to be able to stay there longer. Don't expect them to be able to stay for a long length of time right off the bat. The first thing that is really helpful to get your bird to stay in one spot is to teach them to come. When I want my bird to come, I just hold out my finger like this and say up and she flies and lands on my finger and I give her a treat. When your bird is out of the cage, you always need to make sure that you have treats on you so that you can ask your bird to come and always reward them. Also reward them when they are staying. The reason why you want to teach them come is so that when they leave the place you want them to stay, you can call them to you and they'll come right away and you can put them back on that spot. When you put them back, give them a treat. So you're treating them twice. First, when they come to you because they came and then place them back on the perch and give them a treat. If they leave the area you want them to stay and you can't get them to come back to you, 
that sets you up for a struggle where maybe you're chasing your bird around which can lead to frustration on you and your bird's part and you want to make sure that you set your bird up for success. The way I taught my bird to come is when she would fly to me naturally I would give her a treat and also when very close to her and I would hold my finger up she would naturally just jump on it and I would say up and give her a treat. She learned really quickly when I just labeled the actions that she already was doing naturally and gave her a treat. When teaching your bird to stay you want to start in maybe just one room and that would be a room with no other pets and even no other people. Just you and your bird in one room with the door closed so your bird can't fly around the whole house. Don't give them access to a large area of space right away especially if you don't know how they're going to react, how your other pets are going to react or what kind of dangers in your household there are. It's a lot easier to catch your bird or get your bird to stay in a small room. Over time you can make the space larger so maybe access to two rooms and then three and then four and then maybe a larger room. Move slowly and gradually giving your bird more and more space over time as you trust them more that they will be able to come to you when you need them to and that they are able to stay in the area that you would like them to stay. So again, when you have your bird in the spot that you want them to stay and you notice they are, that they are starting to get bored, call them to you. This is another reason why you need them to know the cue come. When you notice that your bird is starting to get bored in the area that you want them to stay, call them to you. So you are asking them to come to you before they decide to leave the area. Give them a treat when they come to you. Entertain them for a little bit and then place them back on the area. And then repeat the process. So at first you will have them in the area you want them to stay and maybe in two minutes ask them to come and then place them back and then lengthen it to three minutes and then four and then five. So you're gradually lengthening the time that they are staying on their area before you call them to you. So definitely don't expect them to stay in the area for a long time. You need to be patient. It could take weeks, it could take months before they stay there long enough and at first you're definitely not putting them in the area you want them to stay and then doing something else. You will actively be working with them, watching them close by, not walking away or doing something else, staying near them, maybe reading a book or doing something that you can have half an eye on them. So place your bird on the perch or the PlayStation in the area that you want them to stay. When you notice your bird starting to get bored or even before they start to get bored, call them to you. So say come or up or whatever your cue word is and then entertain your bird a little bit while they are with you. Then place them back on this area and just continue repeating the process. When you place your bird back on the area you can say stay or whatever cue word you want for them to know that they need to stay at this place. Gradually lengthen the time between your call. If your bird starts making a move in your direction before you call them, you can say stay or your cue word and then give them a treat while they are still there. So you need to really watch your bird and make sure that you are one step ahead of them. It really is a skill that your bird can learn to entertain themselves. So give them toys, treats, all sorts of really fun stuff in this area that you want them to stay and they will learn to entertain themselves. Remember to be patient and take it slowly. Doing this process you'll really get to understand your bird and notice their behaviors and their cues, their signals, and you'll kind of develop a language with them while teaching them to stay put. Also remember that this isn't something you always want your bird to do. Your bird needs to spend time with you to play, be entertained, to have exercise, to move around. Don't expect them to just always stay in one spot. Don't give up, be patient and know that this is a long process and it will work eventually and then you and your bird will have a lot more fun and you'll be able to take your bird outside of their cage a lot more. Your bird will also stay safe and it's really helpful in households like mine with multiple pets.
I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.